What's good, YouTube? This your boy Oliver Queen. Back it all again. Um, this tutorial is about editing the drop down menu in Bootstrap. Without much ado, let's get right into today's video. So, I'll go ahead and launch my Bootstrap and create a new project. Um, if you like, how my desktop is designed or how my desktop looks like you can just give a comment below and i will make a tutorial on how you can get the same thing as i'm having let me show you how it looks like when you open a desktop it blends the background and brings the focus to the new um, folder or software that you've opened Let's let me open a new project in this particular delta by the way. So this is my bootstrap. And it's launching. I'll go ahead and create a new um, project. So here, create new. I'm going to take a blank um, template. I'll name it um, drop down menu. Drop down menu. Create. So here it is. Um, my bootstrap is is activated. So there's no need. I'm using it offline though, because I'm not connected to the internet. No internet. I'm not connected. If you want to learn how to do this, you can also give a comment, and I'll make a tutorial on how to download and activate the bootstrap. So I'll go ahead and create a new, a simple page by just dropping um, this template in on the page. I'll bring my filter. I'm going for this simple filter. Then I'll go for an article. So let me go for this article. So this is just a simple page that I printed. Very simple. If I just drop a drag and drop, simple. It's responsible for the process. This template get this beautiful article or page. Um, so this is the drop down. When you click on the drop down, you're going to see first item, second item, and third item. I'll go ahead and edit this uh, menu to what I want. Let me minimize 
settings and go back to my digital and first of all I want to show you what I did so that you can see that I was able to pay so this is my wedding guy that I'm working on project of the So what I want to do is, um, when I click on the shadows, I want it, um, the menu to show no dress, female dress, and kids, dress for kids. As you can see, you cannot edit it yet. You have to go through some procedures for editing it, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do it. That is because uh, we couldn't edit them here. But what you have to do is first you select the drop down menu, you go to this bar, the option bar, you click on drop down. If you click on link, you're going to edit uh, the whole shadows link for you. So when you click on drop down, to give you the menu where you can edit the items in this menu. So you go ahead and click on the button and they will show you. So as they will show you, you can just click on it and edit them like a way. editing them when you leave it like this though it's going to take effect on the page but 
I'm still loading, so let me wait for it to do so I can explain what I want you guys to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, if, if you leave it open like this, anytime you launch the software or anytime somebody visits your page, the menu will be open. And so the link will be going to be But anytime the person this is a page to be shopping with money. What you have to do is after editing the item, you go back to your option menu, click manage, and then you go, go back to the drop down and you turn on expand it. So now let's go here. As you can see, it has been good, but it is not automatically uh, open the drop down menu for us to see. And so you have to click on it before it opens it. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification so that you'll be notified anytime. Drop down.